Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas uh, First thought of what speaking and listening, what topic have you decided for yourself? Myself Main topic, settle myself. What's the first topic point? My family or my favorite food? Yeah, yeah, my family and family food. Done. Another. My favorite park and festival. Okay. Ready? I will question you about these topic points for six to seven minutes. Okay. Yes, if these topics are good, you can keep them. If not good, then I'll change the points. Uh, okay. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. This is Trinity College London, ISC1, B1. My name is Angelina, and I'm your interlocutor for your speaking and listening exam today. What's your name? Yeah, hi, ma'am. My name is Indus Pariyadam. What's your topic's title for today? My topic is uh, myself for today. What are your four topic points? My four topic points are my favorite festival, my family, my favorite park, and my favorite food. Where is your favorite park? Uh, my favorite park is uh, the Fulham Palace Park. How often do you go there? Twice a week, I will be put there. How do you travel to the park? Sorry, ma'am. How do you travel to the park? I will travel on the park. I don't know what my, my, my question is not how will you. I'm saying how do you. Uh, oh. Uh, how do you? When, how do you? Uh, I think when I was three and then I will be go the park. I don't know. Uh, when do you travel to the park? I travel to the park in the evening. Uh -huh. Or how do you travel to the park? I travel to the car. I travel to the park by bus. Okay. Yeah, okay. How do you travel to the park? I will travel to the park not, by bus. Not will. How do you? Do you means in your routine. Okay. How do you travel to the park? Just I no will. Just say, I, I travel to the park. I travel to the park by bus. Yes, that's right. Okay. What do you do in the park? Um, I I do I do play some some games in the park. Can you tell me about your favorite? Food. Uh, my favorite food is uh, vegetarian food. How often do you eat it? Uh, I eat it uh, twice a no no. no. Uh, I think uh, every day, what is the best answer? Man? All right, could you tell me something about your family? 
my uh, my family is a god you know god for me my family helped me for each and every time my family was support me How many people are there in your family? That's the main question. Like if examiner yeah. will say, tell me about, yeah. tell me something about you, tell me uh, about people in your family. Yeah. I have five members in my family and uh, two brothers and one sister and mom and dad. What do you think why family is important? Hello. Family is important because when we suffering from you know, any problem at that time, family will support me. And that's why family is important for me. Okay. How much time do you spend with your family? Uh, I have spent one hour per day in my with my family. Tell me about your favorite festival. Yeah, yeah, my favorite festival is the Saint-Pierre. What happens on this day? In this festival, we pray for nine days continuously, and after after nine days, we will we got uh, God for get for get. A, yeah. we got a God for our God. And then we get get we day. get it's a repeat it's a routine thing so we, we get yeah, okay man. we get the uh, you know, God of God and then after we will cook and eat together with family and everyone every person of family pray for for everyone for each other. What clothes do you like to wear on the festival? Um, coat and pant, normally coat and pant or full pant. Thank you. These points are really excellent. Now we'll move to a conversation. Could you tell me some of the rules at your work? Yeah, yeah, yes, ma'am. Sure. Uh, I'm working in a restaurant as a tandoori chef. Okay. And yeah, there is just some rules. Uh, the rules is, uh, you know, we are punctual for time. We respect for each other. We respect each other. And we very careful about uh, hygiene, hygiene and hygiene food. We yeah, we maintain the cleaning and uh, no what that mean uh, yeah that are there any rules at work that you want to change what are those uh, uh, uh there, I think there is no rules for change but. Yeah. Is everything is I think good for my workplace. No, I couldn't guess any rules for change or I can't suggest any rules for change. Can you ask me one or two questions about rules at my work? Yeah, uh what is the Main rules for your job, ma'am. Main rules are replying to text messages and emails immediately. 
uh, rule number two is being patient. Mm -hmm. Being patient, yeah. Number two, question two. Uh, how how long you are in this job, ma'am? Repeat. How long you are in this job, ma'am? How long it's been I'm working, okay? It's been five uh, years. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you cannot feel uh, speaking either, but I don't understand some parts, right? Like uh, the question needs more sequence and even for the answers, but you can never fail in this part, okay? Just practice a little bit more to make sure that you pass the test. Okay, okay. These topic points are good. I don't have any mm -hmm. problem with any. You can take a photo of this, keep it with you. Have you ever yeah. practiced listening of Trinity College London? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, now I'm going to play a recording for you. Okay, ma'am. I would want you to listen to it twice once you've heard then I would want you to answer six questions. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard a recording about festivals? Yeah, that's good. On, on, on the page, you've heard the topic festival? Um. Yeah, we can do basketball then if you've heard it already. Yeah, yes, ISE 1. Task 1. Can you hear the sound? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play the recording twice about basketball. Once you've heard, then I'll ask you six questions. Let's listen. ISE 1. Task 1. Basketball has become one of the most popular team sports in the world. It was invented in 1891 by James Naismith a sports teacher from the USA. He wrote rules for the game because he wanted to teach his students how to play it. Because he had 18 students in his class, he divided them into two teams of nine to play the game. In these first games, players threw the ball into fruit baskets. It took a long time to play because every time the ball went into the basket, someone had to climb came up a ladder to take the ball out. From 1893, many colleges in the USA started playing basketball. After a few years, they reduced the number of players in each team to five. The first basketball league began in 1898 in the USA. There were six teams in the league. Trenton Nationals were champions in the first season. Unfortunately, the league was not very popular and it ended after a few years. Basketball soon became popular all over the world. The first international match took place in Russia in 1909. Basketball is now played in nearly every country in the world. Now listen again. Basketball has become one of the most popular team sports in the world. It was invented in 1891 by James Naismith a sports teacher from the USA. He wrote rules for the game because he wanted to teach his students how to play it. Because he had 18 students in his class, he divided them into two teams of nine to play the game. In these first games, players threw the ball into fruit baskets. It took a long time to play because every time the ball went into the basket, someone had to climb up a ladder to take the ball out. From 1893, many colleges in the USA started playing basketball. After a few years, they reduced the number of players in each team to five. The first basketball league began in 1898 in the USA. There were six teams in the league. Trenton Nationals were champions in the first season. Unfortunately, the league was not very popular, and it ended after a few years. 
basketball soon became popular all over the world. The first international match took place in Russia in 1909. Basketball is now played in nearly every country in the world. All right, now I'll ask you some questions about basketball. Thank you, ma'am. If you can give me three answers correctly, this means you passed. Which job? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll give you. Okay. Uh, which job did James Naismith do? He uh, basketball coach. Correct. How many players were on the first basketball teams? 18 students are in the basketball. So how many in total? Come again? 18 students, ma'am. No, 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 no. How many players were on the first basketball teams? Oh, oh five men. Five men. Nine, nine. Okay. What did the students throw the basketball? The balls into. Sorry, ma'am. What did the students throw the balls into? Oh, so. In a fruit basket. Yeah, yeah, fruit basket. Time to play. What happened in 1893? Uh, 1893? Yes. Uh, many, yeah, many colleges uh, are starting to play basketball. That is correct. And how many teams were in the first league? 16 teams. No, six only. Oh, so it's six. So the numbers are getting wrong. Okay, where was the first international basketball match? Uh, uh, in Russia in 1919. That is correct. Congratulations, you've passed in this part. Now we'll move to part two. Okay, now I will play a recording, but you you cannot take notes. You will just listen to the recording and tell me in few words what is this recording about. I'm going to play a recording about tigers. Okay. ISC 1, Task 2. On today's program, we will be visiting Nepal to see one of the most beautiful creatures on Earth. We're going to see tigers. A fully grown tiger is a heavy animal and can weigh up to 363 kilograms. As you can see, they are large creatures and a tiger's tail on its own can be one meter long. Tigers usually hunt alone. They wait until it is dark to hunt other animals. Tigers can see very well in the dark, six times better than humans can. Tigers often eat five kilograms of meat in one meal. When they have eaten enough, they cover the rest of the meat with leaves and dirt and come back to it later. Unlike most other members of the cat family, tigers enjoy water and are good swimmers. You can identify an individual tiger by its stripes, as each tiger has a different pattern of stripes. Tigers can make a very loud noise when they roar. You can hear a tiger as far as three kilometers away. Could you please tell me in few words what is this recording about? Uh, yeah, um, one thing is a tiger eat five kilograms in one step, eat meat. Yeah, but what is this recording about? This is a recording about tigers in Nepal. Yeah, this is recording about tigers in Nepal, yeah, ma'am. Thank you. Now listen again and write down notes. I would want you to write down um, six points, and then I would want you to tell me those points. Okay. By yourself, okay? 
ISE 1, Task 2. On today's program, we will be visiting Nepal to see one of the most beautiful creatures on Earth. We're going to see tigers. A fully grown tiger is a heavy animal and can weigh up to 363 kilograms. As you can see, they are large creatures, and a tiger's tail on its own can be one meter long. Tigers usually hunt alone. They wait until it is dark to hunt other animals. Tigers can see very well in the dark, six times better than humans can. Tigers often eat five kilograms of meat in one meal. When they have eaten enough, they cover the rest of the meat with leaves and dirt and come back to it later. Unlike most other members of the cat family, tigers enjoy water and are good swimmers. You can identify an individual tiger by its stripes, as each tiger has a different pattern of stripes. Tigers can make a very loud noise when they roar. You can hear a tiger as far as three kilometers away. A tiger one meter long. A tiger length is one meter long and, and see very dark and tiger enjoy water. And very, uh, and tiger, I think, crop very loud, three kilometer away. Yes. And uh, last one is a uh, visit Nepal to see beautiful tigers. That is right. Okay, now I'll ask you some follow up questions about tigers. Okay, do all tigers look the same? Yeah. Do you think all tigers look the same? I think no, ma'am. When do tigers hunt? Three kilometer. Oh, no, um, when do tigers hunt? Hunt means to kill food and eat. Kill animal and eat. That's called hunting, killing. Okay. They hunt in the dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much uh, meat do they eat in a meal? How much meat? I think 360 kl. No, 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 no. You need to understand how much meat... How much meat do they eat? Oh, oh, what? Sorry, ma'am. I can't. Five kg. Five kg meat. Oh. Can you read this for me? Let me show you on the screen. Questions and answers read. Start from question one. Yeah. Weight 360 kilogram. Read question and answer. Oh, okay. If the candidate asks, the examiner may repeat the question once. What the talk about tiger any broadly similar formulation is acceptable oh. mm -hmm. facts from recording flow of question i want you to read on the screen the questions that you've seen like how long can tiger's tail be it can be one meter long on one side there are questions on the other side there are answers I want you to read the follow-up questions along with their answers. Oh, how heavy is a full-grown tiger? And answer answer is 360 kilogram. Yes. And how long can a tiger still be? 
आंसर इज टेल ऑफ टू वन मीटर थ्री हाउ डू टाइगर यूजली हंट टाइगर हंट अलॉन एट वट टाइम ऑफ डे डू टाइगर हंट दे वेट अंटिल डार्क टू हंट How well can well can they see in the dark? They can see six times better than men in the dark. How much meat do they eat in a meal? They eat five kilograms of meat in the meal. What do they do with meat? They haven't finished eating. They came back later. To finish eating it later. How how are tigers different from other cats? Enjoy water and are good swimmer. How can you identify a tiger? You can identify a tiger from its stripes. How can you? Yeah. Do all tigers look the same? Each tiger has a different Pattern to strike. Uh -huh. How far away can you hear two tiger roar? You can hear a tiger from three kilometer away. Yes, that's right. Um, can I play another recording because I, I feel that you do not understand it well. Yeah, yeah, but I need more practice for listening part. Okay. Now I'm going to play a recording about an unusual job. I will play the recording and you're not allowed to take any notes. You will listen to the recording and tell me in few words what is this recording about. Okay, ma'am. ISC 1, Task 2. Today, we're going to talk about the job of driving a truck. Only 10% of Britain's truck drivers are women. Maybe this isn't surprising. Transport companies want to employ more women as they don't have enough drivers. So what is it like for a woman truck driver on the road? Let me tell you about Mary Jones. Mary is 22 years old and she was a hairdresser. But now she delivers food to supermarkets. She sometimes works for up to 14 hours a day. Despite this, Mary prefers driving to hairdressing. This is because she likes travelling. For her, the main problem is that she misses her family on long trips. To become a truck driver, you have to be over 18. And of course, you need to have a driving licence. Now, Let's talk to Mary about her job. Could you please tell me about what is this recording about? Uh, this recording about truck driver job. Now listen again and write down six facts about the recording. Okay. ISC 1, Task 2. Today, we're going to talk about the job of driving a truck. Only 10% of Britain's truck drivers are women. Maybe this isn't surprising. Transport companies want to employ more women as they don't have enough drivers. So what is it like for a woman truck driver on the road? Let me tell you about Mary Jones. Mary is 22 years old and she was a hairdresser. But now, she delivers food to supermarkets. She sometimes works for up to 14 hours a day. Despite this, Mary prefers driving to hairdressing. This is because she likes travelling. For her, the main problem is that she misses her family on long trips. To become a truck driver, you have to be over 18. And of course, you need to have a driving license. Now, let's talk to Mary about her job. Could you please tell me six facts about Mary? 
Sorry? Could you please tell me six facts about Mary? Uh, uh, Mary is a hairdresser and uh, he works uh, 14 hours per day and uh, Mary miss her family too long too and Mary become a top uh, diver. Yes, please speak more. Uh, uh, this recording is all about uh, uh, drive driving up truck mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and there is a uh, Mary Jones who who is a hairdresser and he is work fourteen hour per day and he is missing her family too long too. And if you are become a truck driver, you have 18 plus. Now I'll ask you some follow-up questions. What percentage of Britain's truck drivers are women? Oh, sorry, no, I can't. Uh, what point. percentage of Britain's truck drivers are women? 10%. Are you taking notes or not? Yeah, I'm taking it. What do transport companies want to do? A transport companies to do uh, like a uh, women driver? No. Hire more female drivers. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Question yeah. number three. Why do transport companies employ more women? Sorry, no. I want you to read this on the screen. Hold on. Read the questions and read the answers too. Okay. These are the questions. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like this is the question. This is its answer. Read the question first and then read the answer also. Okay. What percentage of Britain truck drivers are women? Ten percent of Britain truck drivers are women. What do transport Company want to do the transport company want to employ more women. Why do transport company want to employ more women? They don't have enough driver. And how old is Mary Jones? Mary Jones is twenty two years old. What was Mary job before she was a truck driver? Mary was a hairdresser. What does Mary deliver? Mary deliver food to supermarket. How many hours does Mary sometimes work in a day? Mary sometimes work up to 14 hours a day. Which job, which job does Mary prefer? Mary prefer driving to addressing. Why does Mary prefer truck driver to hairdressing? Hairdressing, yeah. She likes traveling. And what is the main problem Mary has with her job? Mary's main problem is that she misses her family on long trips. How old you have to be a, become a truck driver? To become a truck driver, you have to be over 18. What do you need to have to become a truck driver? Uh, to become a truck driver, you need to have a driving license. Yes. Yeah, I have completed. Okay, now. Um, what do you understand of this? Do you think it's difficult 
Once you will tell six facts about the recording, examiner will ask you some follow-up questions. Yeah, I think I have needed to practice in listening because I can't point out uh, some points that examiner asks me. And there is a problem. All right, now, um... What is the first part? Are you writing down information or not writing at all? Yeah, I am writing them. Okay, let's try to do another one. This time I'll play a recording and I would want you to not take any notes. Once you've heard that, I would ask you what is this recording about? ISC 1, Task 2. Today we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people live in Bhutan, but amazingly, those people speak 24 different languages. What about the environment? About 72% of the country is forest. The government has made a lot of laws to protect animals. The people in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Many of the cars in the country are electric. There's an unusual thing about the capital of Bhutan. It doesn't have any traffic lights. Instead, policemen show drivers when to stop. These policemen have to wear special white gloves to do this. What about the people? If you go to Bhutan, you can see people wearing traditional dress. And here's another interesting thing. Every year, the government asks the people about their happiness this is because they think happiness is more important than money. So, do you want to visit Bhutan? Yes, could you please tell me in a few words what is this recording about? Uh, the, the recording is about, uh, about Bhutan country. Discussing about Bhutan country. And learning about... Uh, Bhutan country. Okay, now I'll play the recording again. This time you're allowed to take notes. Okay. Write down six points about the recording. ISC 1, task 2. Today we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people live in Bhutan, but amazingly, those people speak 24 different languages. What about the environment? About 72% of the country is forest. The government has made a lot of laws to protect animals. The people in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Many of the cars in the country are electric. There's an unusual thing about the capital of Bhutan. It doesn't have any traffic lights. Instead, policemen show drivers when to stop. These policemen have to wear special white gloves to do this. What about the people? If you go to Bhutan, you can see people wearing traditional dress. And here's another interesting thing. Every year, the government asks the people about their happiness. This is because they think happiness is more important than money. So, do you want to visit Bhutan? Could you please tell me six facts about the recording? Uh, uh, the recording is learning about country called Bhutan. And uh, my second point is that there are 8,000 people in Bhutan and 24 different languages. In Bhutan, 72% of forest and government protect animal. There is uh, more electric car. And there is doesn't Bhutan doesn't have traffic lights. And there there people wear traditional dress. And government ask about happiness. Thank you. Now I'll ask you some follow up questions. 
Hmm. Okay. What do the policemen wear? Policemen wear, I think, traditional dress. My next question to you is: How much of how much of the Bhutan is forest? Seventy-two percent. I give my last question to you: Is why does the government want to find out how happy people are? Uh, because. Uh, Happiness is more important than money. Yes, that's right. Congratulations, sir. You've passed. Okay, for a reading and writing, I'll give you some work. Do it before you will join the class tomorrow. Then I'll check it and I'll also mark it for you. I'll tell you what okay. to do also. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.